freaking cold out today. So my, what are you doing? Oh, I'm kind of finishing the hole that I made months ago in May. Yeah. Put the water line in. And we're sort of having freezing weather now, and I need to fill it all the way in. Yeah. You filled in a lot of it. Yep. All the frost. I know. This is, like, too soon. Oh. Way too soon. Usually it'd be, like, 40 degrees by now, not 20 or 15. I think the weather said... Remember I was watching when the weather said we were 40 degrees below normal. Yeah. I'm just gonna start doing this. Make myself a pass. Yeah. You could probably use the front side of the hoe. I could. I just wanna make sure I get as far under there as I can. True. Really, I don't know that I can go under there much. It's not really much space left to go in there. No. Want me, want, want me to go get the pickaxe and break that up? Yeah. I think this is pretty good. Okay. what I found. It's a nice little fossil. So there we go. What? Oh, okay. It sucks out here. Yeah. I was just getting it off the sidewalk as well. Mm -hmm. I need to build that rock crusher. Check this out. It's snowing. It's not even Thanksgiving yet. This is crazy. We had a good like 10 years or so where this would be the thickest snow we'd ever get. We'd usually get this around like January or February, but now the weather's getting pretty cold has to do with the polar vortex moving down. Past two winters have been, no, actually this winter and last winter has been extremely cold. <laughs> cool. If it snows much more, then I'll have to start working on my electric lawn tractor and see if I can use the front pusher thing as a snow plow. So it's pretty cold outside. It feels pretty nice in inside. And I've had all this stuff that I've gotten from sh thrift shops or garbage or whatever, and I've been kind of saving them or compiling them because I was going to show you, and I keep forgetting because I haven't made a random bits in several weeks. Here we go. Picked up a nice little track Trackman trackball. I love trackballs. You probably saw this in my K-Pro video. This is a Pikachu for 25 cents. That wasn't bad. I already have one of these, but you can always do with a spare. So these ones were made in... 1998. Also, I picked up a bunch of floppies. I have so many of these, but I couldn't, couldn't pass it up. Then I have cables for this main computer. And this was kind of interesting. It was a good price, and I've never seen these this bottle before. F Fanta. I've only seen, like, Coca-Cola and Pepsi. So I got that. Only oh, 79 cents. I like the feel of that. Then my mom got this out of the trash. It's an old Plexter external C CD writer. It's broken. I remember we had this whenever I was like 10 or so. 
I'm going to take this out and see if I can put a five and a quarter inch floppy drive in there. That'd be kind of interesting. And just the cable to go with it. Nothing special. I got this computer for five dollars about a month ago, and I've been meaning to tear it open or make a video about it, but I just haven't yet, so it's been sitting around. Well, let's get started. Judging by the case, it's quite old because it has an ITX case or ATX, whatever. This computer looks like one of the many crappy homemade computers. As you can see right there, it's made by some no-name brand local computer company. These are really bad in the 90s. A lot, a lot of people thought that they, that they could make a lot of money just by throwing a bunch of somewhat compatible parts together, and they these computers were shit. They really were. And the sad thing is, a lot of people bought them, especially companies. I continually find crappy computers like this. I say before we rip it apart, let's turn on, see what, see if it works. I'm needing an old style keyboard for this computer, and I remembered I also got this a while back, a couple weeks ago from a yard sale. Can't remember if I showed you guys that or not. Probably from like 1988 or 87 or so. Now with this computer, it came with a mouse, a serial mouse. It was kind of interesting. Well, anyway, let's turn it on. Now oh, it's a Pentium, Pentium 233. It's a quite outdated motherboard style to have a Pentium 230. Weird. Windows 98, of course. Hmm. I've never turned this computer on before, so I don't know what'll happen. Let's check the C drive. Looks like 1.99 gigabytes. Pretty much two gigabytes. So this has a two gigabyte hard drive. The computer seems pretty bare. A lot of DOS programs though, so that's pretty nice. Usually the first thing I do when I get an old computer, well, after, of course, looking through all the information on the hard drive, which there seems to be nothing on this one, I do a defragmenting run on it. I find that makes it run a lot quicker. I wonder what kind of graphics card that is. I must say that the disk defragmenter for Windows 98, although it's better than Windows 7, it's nowhere near as fun as the one for Windows 2000 and the Windows XP. At least it does have some visuals though, like my Windows 7 one doesn't have any visuals at all, so it's not, so it's not as fun. But the main issue with this is that, I don't know, it's just something about it. Just maybe, maybe because these older machines are slow, so the Windows 98 design just isn't as nice to watch it defragment. So as stated before, it's a Pentium processor. The BIOS said it was 244 MHz. It looks to have 16 megabytes of RAM. And its video card is... Oh my god, a 1 megabyte trident. Wow, that, that, that's terrible. That's a, I think I have one that has more memory than that on my original IBM PC. 
Um, okay, maybe not a megabyte. I think I have 256k. But still, that's, that's terrible. I wonder how this thing handles 3D. That's a terrible frame rate. Oh, look at that screen tearing. That is horrible. This, this computer would just die if I tried to play Half-Life or something on it. With 255 or 240 something megahertz on that Pentium, it should be able to handle that quite well. But it's the, the rest of the motherboard that just lets this thing down. First of all, because the stuff on the back is like... I'd say at least five years out of date from whenever this board was made. This board was probably made around 1994 or 95 or so, but it's made to the specs of like 1988 or so. Because in the mid-90s, nobody was using these kind of keyboards anymore, I don't think. And serial mice, those are not very good. Yeah, this is just a really terrible motherboard and terrible everything on this. Probably the only thing that's genuine is the hard drive and the processor. So I'd have to say this computer is pretty bad quality. It's perfect for what I want to do with it, though. I was originally looking for a computer because I'm wanting to try and run a computer underwater. Of course, I won't have the power supply and I won't have the hard drive or like CD-ROM or anything underwater, but just the motherboard and stuff like that. Because, of course, if I had the power supply underneath that, that would have 110 volts AC. But the motherboard is, is all below 12 volts. And actually, they can run underwater as long as the water isn't too salty or conductive. But I think it'd be kind of interesting to just take this motherboard and put it underwater. Then I can probably put a, a better computer into this case if I'm if I'm needing a case in the future, because this case would handle an older motherboard like one from a IBM XT or something or AT or whatever. But yeah, that'd be a pretty interesting thing to do with this. And then whenever I'm done with it, I can take it and I can put it in my pile of other motherboards. So then someday when I have enough and I have enough wall space, like if I build a big shed or something, I can put them all up on the wall. And this one will go up on the wall. Let's rip out this graphics card and see if it really is the Trident, or maybe it was saying something else on the board that I don't see. Oh, that just, that just has cheap cheapness all written over it. That really didn't say much on there. Made in the USA, yeah, right. In October 24th, 1995. That is the cheapest crap you can probably get. <laughs> Interesting. And this is an internet board, or at least network board. Network card, sorry. Well, guys, I think that's pretty much it for today. And also, I'm feeling kind of under the weather. I think I might have caught something. Oh, well. But I think it's good enough for this video. I think I got some nice little goodies. I probably only spent like, I'd say like $10 for all this stuff. And yeah, it's pretty nice. Not counting, winter's coming. Winter's almost pretty much here because snow's here. Hope you, hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. See ya.